It's big, it's extremely loud. Classical recitals on the Willis organ have been shaking the foundations of the Royal Albert Hall since it was built almost 150 years ago. But now this most traditional of Western instruments is featuring in a concert written by Anglo-Indian composer Nitin Sohne. His work fuses a variety of musical traditions for a piece whose subject is multiculturalism in modern Britain. Culture editor Matthew Kane has this report. physically dominates the Royal Albert Hall and its sound can swamp the vast auditorium. Commissioned in the heyday of the British Empire, the Willis organ is a feat of engineering as well as a remarkable instrument. Inside, 9,999 pipes and nine miles of tubing recreate the sounds of an entire orchestra. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. When you change key. Yeah. The Albert Hall has invited Nitin Sorne to compose a new piece of music on the organ. He's working alongside jazz musician James Taylor, who'll be playing the piece when it's premiered at a specially staged concert in May. We've been down here a few times and uh, and and listened to the sounds and the potential of the organ. It's actually. Uh, just really about finding the potential of what we can explore and, uh, and then trying to bring that through in the music. Uh, the interesting thing about this organ and what makes it difficult to play is that you are literally quite a long way away from the pipes. So the sound comes at you a bit later and it's a bit kind of over there, whereas the instrument I'm used to is very instantaneous. The challenge I think to knit in is to do something contemporary, genuinely contemporary with something which is, you know, a long, uh, you know very old. The commission is the first in what's hoped to be a series of ongoing collaborations which will keep the organ alive. I think the reality is uh, over the years it has become a little bit of a museum piece. Um, what we very much want to do though is change that. The Albert Hall for me symbolises something that's very em emblematic of, of the British Empire and so to do something subversive with that is incredibly important. I think there is, um, there is a sense of actually coming to a place like the Royal Albert Hall and bring something different and actually also bringing um, an expanding sense of the nature and definition of culture. With influences as diverse as Indian music, Western classical and flamenco, Nitin Sawney has very much made his name as a pioneer of cultural fusion. But with many people, such as Trevor Phillips and David Cameron, now questioning the role of multiculturalism in society, is there still a place for it musically? Nitin Sawney's new music is intended to explore our fear of immigration, terrorism and the outside world, which is why he believes it's so fitting to play it on an instrument symbolic of our former empire. This country is a dynamic country mm. and in fact it's been multicultural for a very long time. That's really what I, I always try and get across in the gigs that I do. You know, it's celebrating multiculturalism and the possibilities of multiculturalism. When the new organ music is first played to the public, James Taylor will be joined on stage by Indian classical musicians and Nitin Sawney will be playing Japanese drums. But there's little doubt which of the instruments will dominate. <laughs> Matthew Kane and the final note. We're back tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Until then, from Krishnan and from me, that's Channel 4 News. We'll leave you in appropriate style tonight. <laughs>